Hey, hello, and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We got some more Super Auto Pets for you today. It's a new weekly. We're gonna check it out. Let's see what we got going here. Okay, let's see. Uh, duck, right? Duckling, the moth, the dragon here, I see that. The whale, that could be interesting. The llama's returning, the scorpions here. The walrus is here. There could be lots of peanuts this year. The monkey's here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the deer. Turkey. Okay, okay, we got some interesting stuff. Not a lot of snipers. I do see the crocodile. Oh, I do see a mosquito. Okay, I lied. There's plenty of snipers. Anyway, a beaver sounds fine, and a duck. Let's not take a duckling. I mean, if people have moths, then their front unit just has, you know, it can kill our beaver just fine, or our duck, so let it kill the beaver since it has uh, more health. The skilled organisms are very skilled, they're very adept at being organisms, and who isn't these days? Okay, they didn't have a moth, but they had high attack anyway, so it didn't work out at all, as I expected. They had a pretty good team. They had a pretty good team. Two bluebirds could help us out immensely, and I'm thinking about doing that. Let's see what do we have here. Another bluebird. I'm willing to combine these ducks and pick up a third bluebird. Otters could be pretty helpful, honestly, because, you know, they buff... Uh, Everybody. So, um, should I freeze two, though? I, I don't think so. Going into the next round, I don't think we should freeze two. Well, all the birds unilaterally buffed each other, so that's great. Okay, we do have a moth, so we take out their simple two health unit pretty quickly, and then obviously it's a, a quick draw from there, and that's okay. Okay, we got some goldfish. It could be interesting. Let's do this. Let's see what we get. A leech. A leech could work with certain things. I don't see a camel. I don't see a peacock. I guess you could hurt a yak, but then you... A yak hurts itself. I guess you could hurt something and have a koala. I'll hold on to a leech. I don't know what I want to do with it just yet, so I'll put it in front. Two goldfish, potentially. Discount the two leftmost shot pets by one at the start of turn. So if we had two, they would only cost one. Uh, we can get rid of the beaver. Sure. Get two goldfish. Did they always make that sound? And we could free... Okay. We can turn you into a one gold purchase next turn. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. We could leech a hedgehog. It wouldn't make any uh, damn sense. For now, I don't mind doing this, though. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, we got some we got some stuff happening in the future for cheaper animals. That's gonna propel us into a great future, perhaps. Okay, let's see here. I think we might not exactly win this one. Seems to be the theme of the day. No problem. Okay, you two go get together. Add you. We get a rabbit. I haven't seen a rabbit in quite some time. A duck for one gold. It could buff the health of something. Actually, we got, let's see, one, two, three, okay. Grab me a duck and sell it. So it was net nothing. We get a hedgehog, right? Um, keep rolling. A koala, that could not be the greatest thing. I see meat, a salamander, start a battle ability. How many start of battle abilities do we have? A few. A few, that's for sure. I'd rather roll pointlessly, and then, okay. We could get another goldfish. Why not? And we don't want to freeze either of those, so... Okay, our goldfish is our biggest attacker. I guess I should put him in front. I don't know. What the heck? Maybe, uh, maybe after this we can change it. Let's see. We're not gonna kill anybody with the... Hedgehog. Well, they're blowfish, I guess. Or goldfish, excuse me. Regardless, it's a nice draw. It's a flavor of the week here. No wins. And a one gold bluebird, I guess, maybe. I gotta think about it though. This mosquito's a little too late. There's a lollipop. We are hurting this duck immensely. So he's probably not a huge fan of that. Bluebird. I mean, I guess that's one gold for a one one. It's not the worst thing in the world. It might be time to get rid of the duck. We could kill a blobfish with the leech, or just pill it at this point. Um, get me rid of this duck. 
we're gonna supercharge this this goldfish. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I think it does. I think it makes a ton of sense. If you follow up after the hedgehog, we could do an ox. It would get melon armor. We could take health from the ox as well. We only have five gold. Freeze me one ox. We could freeze this for a cheap purchase in the future. All right, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I think we got to do it. I don't even know if we're keeping the ox that long, so I'm not going to freeze that one. You tell me if that's a huge mistake. I don't know. Okay, our leech is leveling up stats. That's good. Nothing wrong with that, of course. All right, we are going to kill their rabbit, so that's pretty nice. All right, we've got Ox v. Ox over here. That's a nice trade. And for once in our lives, we went around. It's only been uh, 16 minutes in the recording, so that's exciting. Okay, we could level a bluebird all the way up for four gold. Sure. I do like a hawk. It's a more specific snipe than the hedgehog. The hedgehog hasn't done too much else. I think it's time for that to go. A rat and an elephant. So we, if we had a blowfish or something, we could trigger something funny with that, but I don't see a blowfish in the pack. So that's fine. Put this hawk here. Let's roll. Okay, not a huge fan of this. We do have a pineapple. We could have put that on the hedgehog. We could still put it on the hawk, I guess. Why not? Not doing too much else with this three gold. Do we want to freeze any of these? Not really. Another goldfish would be pretty interesting. Killing our ox would be interesting as well. Sooner or later, let's see what happens. Okay. We're going to live through... Never mind. Alright, the moth did just enough there to kill us. That's pretty cool. They got a bee. They got a nice kangaroo there. We are still going to win it, though. I don't know what the hawk sniped in the beginning. I didn't see. But I'll assume it was uh, essential for our victory. A rooster's pretty good. Rooster is pretty good. A whale, rooster, chick combo. What do you think about that? What about a whale that ate a rooster that spawns a chick in front of an ox? You get triple melon armor. It's a strategy. I don't know if it's a good one, though. Uh, we could do this. I'm okay getting rid of you and maybe investigating a rooster for sure. Let's see here. More health. Who needs more health? I guess this guy might be sticking around since he's making cheaper pets and all that. I'm not in love with any of these choices at the moment, and I'm not sure why. Let's, okay, let's freeze you. Who else can we freeze for the future? An armadillo. An armadillo with a leech could provide health for the whole dang team. That's what we were waiting for. Something for the leech to uh, be great at. So it's going to be a question of what we get rid of there. I don't know if it's going to be the bird. Let's see what happens. Okay, they shot our bird. We shot their chick. You're going to have two attack. That's a great trade for us. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty good. All right. Emperor Tamarin, I don't think so. I'll take one of these. And who wouldn't these days? The rooster, I mean, it helped us out a ton, but I don't know if we can... Uh... I don't know. The bluebirds, two, three attack for somebody every turn. Maybe itself, maybe one of the other animals. The rooster's not really developed, so I'm okay with getting rid of it for now. Let's see what happens in the future. Okay, we could do this, absolutely. A shark, we don't have any spawners because we just got rid of our good old rooster, so that's not a big, uh, it's not a big plus. Give me one of these for the goldfish. Another armadillo, sounds A-OK. -okay. And I think I want the hawk here, just in case. Yeah, a lollipop. Well, we are going to have more health, thanks to the armadillo. Maybe a lollipop in the future. I don't think we have to freeze it, though. Okay, you don't give yourself health, right? Right, okay. So we got to find more armadillos. We have one, but that'll replenish some health in the future. That'll be good. Oh, they got two llamas and a goldfish. That's a, it's a rare combo, but they tried to pull it off. It didn't exactly work out for them. And I'm okay with that. Okay, a cheap marmoset? I don't think so. A hippo? I don't think so either. I think we have a pretty nice team going here. We can get up to seven health. A cucumber on the armadillo, I guess, makes sense, since you'll be losing the leech health every turn. 
Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Let's see another. There we go. Let's see another goldfish. We could level here. A white tiger. We could have level three in battle. I don't see, you know, a ton of use for that. You know what I'm saying? A hawk, maybe. I'd like a pear. What else is there to buy? There's chocolate. We could hold on for chocolate. If we leveled a leech or armadillo soon, that'd be pretty cool for the whole team. I guess the armadillo makes the most sense there. Okay, I'm okay with rolling. And okay, interesting. An interesting assortment of holy crap. All right, I'll take uh, I'll take some armadillos, no problem. Absolutely. Okay, we're we're still getting more attack from the blue bird. It's not the it's not the strongest team turn nine, but two of our units have decent stats overall. Okay, and then we got the snipe, which is always good. Okay, we're gonna win this one, I think. Yeah, okay. A leech always beats a monkey, including in real life. Uh, so that's good. We do have chocolate. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. A fly. Everybody loves a turkey fly. Let's pivot to turkey fly. Where's that tiger? Just kidding. I mean, I guess the bluebird could go, but I don't know for what. Maybe the fly on its own, perhaps. But then you got to move this back there. Who knows for sure? And eh, let's try it out. There you go. Okay, one gold. Our headliner is still a goldfish, so I'm not sure how that's working out, but it is. Do we chocolate the hawk, the leech, the fly? We're, we're not on tier six yet because we need another level. So let's might, might as well do this for now. A boar could get more health, but I'll hold on to it. Let's look for some more chocolate or some other valuable foods. There's a chocolate polar bear. Hold on to that. Okay, a crow could turn into chocolate in some countries, but not right now. All right, we could get a level three hawk next turn. I do want you... I guess, I guess second's pretty good, you know? They might have a super second. They don't have pandas in this pack, so we're not going to snipe a blank spot, probably. Let's give it a shot. And we're going to be spawning flies. Hopefully they don't have hippos to eat us alive. Hopefully it's just enough extra spawns to kill, you know, something crazy. All right, we did kill their kangaroo. That's great news. Here's the bad news. They, they do have hippos. Uh, let's see here. Okay, well, we're going to... Nope, okay. All right. You know what they say. Don't fight a hippo with a fly in real life. And it's true for the in-game as well. So there you go. All right. Let's do this. More white tigers. I understood. That was free, I think, because we held on to it for two turns, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, the fly, it's, you know, it's not the f my favorite animal in the world. We could tiger a hawk. But you make it repeat, so you're just still attacking the second unit for basically 28. The fly's not doing it. We could do a monkey. It's a little, some would say, not exciting. I would agree, but that's all right. Okay, we're gaining more health. Our hawk is almost guaranteed to kill somebody. And our monkey's a 1-4, so I think that's pretty good stats overall. Okay, here's the bad news. Never mind, there's no bad news, except for the fact that we didn't kill their armadillo in one hit. And what are you eating, a deer? Okay, I think we lived through this. Our leech is mighty healthy. Okay, yeah, he did pretty good, all on his own. Alright. Marmoset and a llama, I'm not too interested. We need to give something to the leech to hold. We don't have a croissant, so we can't do that. We could just do a meat, just so we could have more health, uh, attack, that is, not health. But who knows for sure. A lemon could prove useful. I guess a lemon's good on the goldfish these days. What do you think? Okay, we can do this. No problem. A fly. I'd, I'm very interested in trying out a fly. That's a lie. I apologize for lying. Alright, let's see what we can do here. A little more health for everybody involved. Every time the leech hits the armadillo, he gets 5 health. So a lemon on him would make some good sense too because he'd have uh, like 90 health to chew through all right lemon here i think it saved our hides slightly i don't know if we're gonna live here okay we technically died was that the end okay no we have one more health but 
Buy a leech. A spider, I say. No thanks. I don't know whether we should chocolate one of these two. Why do we have so many level threes? I guess all the chocolates. But it'd be really cool. Okay, just two chocolates. We can just decide. I'll do it on the monkey. I figure he would need that three attack for something good. The hyena, it would swap us to have so much attack instead of health. It would be an interesting swap, I think. But I don't know where to put it, you know? All right, let's get you. You're at 2136 with a lemon. If we found a lemon for the leech, that'd be pretty cool. The hawk's doing great work for us. Oh my god, peanut much? Their bear lived with two health, that's a shame. We might not make it out of here alive due to their incredible strategy. In fact, uh, yeah, we're dead. Okay, so they were... What were they doing? Pilling walruses. And then they had a big llama behind the two peanuts. That's... That's pretty smart. Alright, let's grab a marmoset. Let's grab an otter. Hold on to this. Take one of these. Okay. If they have a two health unit that's getting mothed... The blue bird in front is the ultimate play. If not, then, uh, you know, there's no real point to it. Um, we can be the peculiar drivers. They're not using their turn signals. Then again, these days, is that even peculiar anymore? All right, they don't have a moth. They don't have three animals. So we won that one, surprisingly. Big fan of that. Another blue bird. Well, you never led us astray before. I guess you should be back here, though. Start a battle with a faint ability. We don't have any faint abilities at the moment. Okay. Um, I'm more interested in a mosquito, I'll be honest. Okay, and we got three attack on the front bluebird. That could prove useful. Again, if they are running a moth. Holy crap. Well, there's no moth, but the three attack did help. So that's pretty nice. Okay. Another otter, another marmoset. I'm okay taking one of these. That's not what I wanted to see. Anybody else would have been fine, but that's all right. Okay, we could try to run a salamander build our lollipop, so you could try to get it high and then switch it and do it again. Uh, start a battle. You guys don't start battles at the moment, but you could in the future. Let's do this. Put you up front. Salamander. If we want to win now, we buy a cupcake. If we want to win in the future, we freeze start of battles. So you know what I'm doing. Well, I'll, I'll get an otter too, actually. That's pretty good. Okay, not start a battle. But this is pretty good for a level. Okay, we could pill a flamingo. I do see some pills in the shop. Let's just settle for the levels. Not on the perfect turns, but... You know, our salamander's doing great so far, I gotta say. He said so many procs. All right, nobody's running moth this week, apparently. This guy's got a, a blobfish into the biggest bluebird I've ever freaking seen. So that's unfortunate for us, but good for him. I guess it got ottered a bit. I don't know. A koala? I'm not the biggest fan. Emperor Tamron? I can't be the biggest fan there either. Okay, we buffed our... Uh, you shouldn't even be on the team, honestly. Okay, end turn. These aren't start a battle. These are these are awful. No offense. Okay, what if we buff the salamander this way? Okay, start. There's a start a battle. There's another salamander. You know, it might not be the strategy to invest in, but that's why I'm investing in it. Always go against the grain. That's what I was told as a grain farmer. So, okay, there's a moth for once in our lives. All right, we might not win this one. But it was close. That's what's important. Maybe. Um, okay, so we went... Why are you 8-4? What are you doing here? I don't know. Alright. Otter, two random friends. I don't know. If the hatching chick gets it, that's no fun. These two aren't sticking around forever. And this is still just a base salamander, I'll be honest. Give me the two gold. I know he's our best unit. I gotta get rid of him. Call me crazy. Okay, we grab another salamander. This is gonna work out. We grab a start of battle. Get out of here. We grab an otter. It buffs a useful unit. 
surprisingly. Okay, we get another start of... Jesus Christ. Okay, we get, um... There's no real reason. We get another hatching chick. Call me crazy. Right? And then... We simp... Okay, start a battle. Before faint. Okay, there's not too many start of battles. That's what I'm learning. Maybe a salamander is a fool's gambit. Turns out it, ju it just might be, you know? Let's see what we got going here. Okay. We're gonna kill two units with that salamander, and then two more with that salamander. It works for now, but two hatching chicks can't support us the rest of our lives. Probably. Okay. Start a battle. If you think about it. Let's combine these. Let's start a battle. Okay. Start another one. Okay, we have six fantastic gold. So we can't pill a flamingo and then buy a hedgehog this turn. But we could buy a flamingo and a and a cucumber. Okay, we might combine our salamanders at some point, but for now, wait, why did oh crap. I should have had the hatch and chick on the other one. That's alright. Everybody makes mistakes. Alright. They got a nice maw. Luckily we took out that unit eventually. The bear there is not going to do too much uh, difference for us. It's an easy draw. Obviously. Okay. Pineapple. Deer. Okay, I think it's time to put these two together. They worked out splendidly a little bit. A bluebird might go at some point. A deer could be useful. I think we can all agree that's the truth. Why don't you give me any animals I need? Huh? Oh, I forgot to check for start a battle. Well, there's not any anyway, so that's fine. Another flamingo? I don't know if that's the play. Lollipop to make you 712? I mean... I don't know. You know, I don't know if that's, if that's the time to switch the... The stats there. Start a battle? Sounds good. We don't have anything for sale though, so kind of screwed myself there. Or no spots to purchase in is what I was trying to say. Obviously I said something that didn't make sense instead. It happens all the time. Alright. I think we win this round and then we just gotta sell off the bluebird next shop phase and then, uh, you know, win from there. Should be pretty simple. Okay, their chicken destroyed our Whatever we have. Okay, no problem. No problem. You get out of here. Start a battle. Start a battle. Now's a good time for this, in my opinion. Okay, we gotta start a battle. Where do we put it? Let's see, the flamingo. The flamingo could go at any point, too. Let's roll here another hatching chick leveling up next turn, providing a permanent 2-2. That could prove quite useful. I'll put it in the back. Maybe we kill their chick or their monkey or whatever the heck's going on with their team. We got a 1724. That's gonna be an 1825 after that flamingo. Is it a 1-1? One, one? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. We shot one of their rabbits. They're very healthy. I see that. Luckily we have health of our own on this red unit that I like to call a salamander. Somehow we lived with one health exactly. I'll take it. We're, uh... We're out of here on our next death, because we only have three hearts left. So we gotta watch out for that. So you give 2-2 two, two permanently. I think it's time for you to take a lemon. A dragon. Could be interesting. Buy a tier 1 pet. Give other pets 1-1. One, one. That's pretty interesting. A monkey. Give stats, obviously. But who can say what's the best uh, course of action here? I think we need, just need to roll. I'll be honest. And these are some permanent, uh, temporary foods that I didn't want to see, but we did see it, so might as well try to win, right? We're on turn nine. We gotta do our best here. The flamingo can go soon, the deer is going soon. If we saw more hawks, that'd be pretty cool in my opinion. Okay, we're gonna, we, what do we shoot? Either way, they got a bus going. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy. I think we win this one with our hawk in tow. 
Even the salamander lived. That's fantastic. The lemon is truly the fruit of the gods. I mean, I guess at this point you pill it, right? If you're going to get rid of it, might as well pill it. Alright, start a battle. We'll go to a crocodile. Could prove useful. Sure. Nothing wrong with that. I will roll. A hatching chick seems interesting. This lemon isn't going to do too much. Everybody else has four or less health. I'd call that pretty low. A seal. Could buff the whole team, but then we got to get rid of... Uh, the deer. And I'm okay with that. Okay, seal. We're going super food build. Lemon, the seal. Fantastic. The, this guy takes out the fourth unit. Crocodile takes out the back unit. Boom, their two rabbits are gone. A salamander eats their three hippos or whatever. And we're good to go. That's my strategy. I like talking it through. I like explaining what's going through my head. That way there's uh, detailed notes for when I get committed. Anyway. We killed their shark or whatever, so that's pretty dang cool. And we killed their triceratops, so that was pretty lucky. We we had exactly what we needed to take that team out. Hopefully we can, you know, extrapolate that a bit. Okay, now do we just feed the seal whatever? Because I've done it before. I fed garlic on a garlic seal, because I could. But these are, you know, the same thing or worse. Let's look for more. Okay. Plus we're not going to be buying uh, starter battles now that we have somewhat of a full team unless you sell a hawk and buy another hawk but that would be quite rude to the hawk unless it's time to get rid of the hatching chick two two per turn you get two it's a shame we never found a third salamander okay i think this is an easy buy i don't know what we should do here we could buy a hawk and a steak well, you just buy, so this works, actually. You don't have to summon a... Yeah, you don't have to summon. Let's do this. I don't know if the chick's sticking around, but for now, if it doesn't get chili peppered to death, which it probably will, uh, a steak on that's pretty good. Yep, there's a good old chili pepper. What the heck happened to their llama? All right, here's the good news. We're gonna... What the hell are you doing over there? Look at all these llamas and sheep and stuff. All right. Either way, that was a semi-impressive team. I'm glad we kicked their butt. No offense. Okay, we could one-up a... None of these make a whole ton of sense to one-up. Let's give a pair to you, and you give a pair to the world, right? Some useful units, too. So that's interesting. We could replace your food twice and be upset overall, so I'm probably going to avoid that option. Okay. We could stake a hawk. Again, not the best option, probably. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Alright, there's a level 2 salamander if we live. We could ice cream everybody, including the seal. So that's like a super buff. So far, the salamander's uh, dragging this terrible team all the way home. Alright, we killed two of their weakest units. The two weakest units, of course. And we're gonna... I think we're gonna win this one easily. There you go. Alright, we're at 8 wins. That's a rarity for me. Alright. Your start a battle, but we can do ice cream first. Don't buff the chick. Okay, you could buff those two, I guess. Alright, we do that. We buy start a battle. You get more attack. Fantastic. Walrus could work for a lot of people. In the future, you could do a salamander all the way up to 50 attack. Lollipop it. Then put a walrus in front of it. So it has 50 health and low attack. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Alright. Turn 13, I'm surprised we're not facing three 50-50s, but maybe we will now. Well, there's one that's almost pretty damn close. Okay, it did one-shot our sad little uh, salamander. I don't think we're going to make it out alive. That level 3 bluebird, it's always it's always a good choice. They, they did pretty good there. We did pretty good too. Eight wins, I'd call it semi-respectable. Well, that'll do it. I like this new weekly. It's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a dislike if you hated it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos on the channel. And thanks for being here. Have a great day. See you next time for a well goodbye. And see you later.